and Fabian is on Ravager Shops. So we're playing another match versus Ravager Shops. Uh, I seem, I think I like this matchup a little bit, so let's see if we can do what we did in round one. Uh, this is a very normal Ravager Shops hand, but uh, I'm pretty down for it. Uh, we can go Inspector into Revoker on Walking Ballista, and then we can, you know, try to top deck some cool cards. I'm pretty sure this is a keep. Opponent is on a different build of Ravager Shops than round one. While they also have Tangle Wires, they don't play four Fleetwheel Cruisers. Instead, they play four Stone Coil Serpents, four Steel Overseers. Um, so it's possible we're supposed to revoke Steel Overseer, but Walking Ballista is like the real threat to our deck and our and our and our way of life here. So I'm pretty sure naming Walking Ballista is what I want to do. Um, if we find another Revoker, which we only think we only played two, uh, then we can name Steel Overseer. Steel Overseer is definitely a good card in this matchup, and will be quite strong if we don't uh, deploy like larger threats fast enough. But with a Ballista, if we can ever pod up to a Platinum Angel, that will lock our opponent out of the game. So it might be hard to attack through like a 10 10 steel uh like an ever growing stone coil serpent so we have to be careful of that um but theoretically we should be fine Let's see what opponents got they have a wasteland that's interesting typically although wastelanding mishra's workshop is a strong play doing it on the draw can lead to you being quite far behind so i'm not super th happy with or not i mean I, I don't really mind but i think it's quite uh could end up being a problem for our opponent because they're gonna get tempoed out of this game quite hard uh for instance we're gonna play inspector ravager here and then if we draw any mana source we can play a precursor golem so uh yeah we also have a, a man land as well so all right just uh creature land Oh, they have their own workshop. See, I would have rather them just let on workshop, I think. I mean, they probably would have lost to a Precursor Golem, but... All right, we drew a, we drew a workshop. So we're just going to jam a Precursor Golem here. Uh, and then I'm just going to stand up and attack, I think. If they block anything, we just need to make it a 6-6. Six, six. So we would need to block 5. Block, 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 block. Maybe we don't. Uh, maybe I just attack with block, 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 block. Maybe I just attack with inspectors and a factory. And then if they block with their golem, we can just trade. I don't really like that very much either, though. But I do want to attack because I have all these golems. Maybe we should just attack all. Maybe it's just attack all. Feel like opponent can't come back from this, even if they just trade with whatever we have here. Yeah. Precursor Golem. That's a good one. All right, so sideboard, our opponent gets to bring in three Pithing Needle and three Worm Coil Engine. So similar to last round, except one less needle. Uh, our sideboard is going to be similar to last round as well. We're going on the draw, so we're just going to take off all five all six of these sphere effects. We're going to bring in all of the fatties, all of the spy glasses, and all of the dismembers. And we're going to take out uh, one birthing pod. I'm telling you, I don't think we can play against Ravager Shops every round, but if we could, I would be down. No, there. <laughs> I do not believe there are more Ravager Shops players. <laughs> oh wait, this is Colorless Aggro. Oh no, that's that's Hogak with skull clamps. That's not Colorless Aggro. It's okay. Once we get through the Ravager Shops players, we'll play against Mono Red Prison and the Bug Player who hates artifacts, and then it then everything will come to parity. This I, I think that's how all of our 
Mythic Society events have gone so far, right? I'm pretty sure we won our first two rounds and then lost the last two rounds every time. Okay. All right. Now we're on the draw against Ravager Shops. Um, you know, same same idea. This hand is not good enough, unfortunately. Um, no fast mana. Only one land. Uh, you don't want to keep this kind of hand against Shops in general. So we're gonna Mulligan. They also Mulligan. This hand's much much better. We've got Vintage Staple Draw Scorpion that we will put to the bottom of our library <laughs> as we go for turn two Worm Coil Engine. Uh, yeah, can't make this up. We'll give a, if we did play this, it gives our Worm Coil a Vigilance, by the way. Kind of. Theor theoretic theoretically, it gives a... <laughs> it's not another artifact creature I control either. It's it's any artifact creature. So if they block a worm coil engine, it, we could untap our worm coil engine. But uh I think all of our lands are very important and I do want to have a revoker on ballista. So uh I'm gonna have to bottom the poor old draw scorpion here, unfortunately. You really you do hate to see it, but sometimes it just has to go that way. All right, all right. That's five mana on turn one. That's that's eight mana on turn one. Is it going to be an eight eight stone coil serpent or is it a is it a worm coil engine? It's a worm coil engine. Okay. Normally, I would be quite scared of the worm coil engine. However, I have two worm coil engines. I didn't have two worm coil engines until right now, but I mean, I'll just say I, I had it the whole time. All right. All right, I also want a Worm Quail Engine. Thank you. Imagine using a Black Lotus to play a Worm Quail Engine when <laughs> you can just <laughs> pay three. Yeah, yeah. Next turn, we'll play a Worm Quail Engine. And then we'll play your, our, our, our other cards, and it'll be great. I guess if they wasteland us, we will not be playing a worm quail engine this turn. Uh, I am one hundred percent willing to trade here, as I don't have a, a ravager or anything, and I can return my metamorph eventually with a scrap trawler if my worm quail were to die or something. Now, do they have a follow up? I assume there's some kind of follow up, but what kind of follow up? That's the question. Looks like a ballista for two. Yeah, ballista for two. All right, so maybe we'll just play Scrap Trawler Revoker on this turn. Uh, I think we're just going to play Scrap Trawler Revoker on this. Well, maybe we're just supposed to play another Worm Coil Engine. Sorry, Revoker Scrap Trawler. We're probably just supposed to play Worm Coil Engine. They can't even pump this. Uh, nothing is going to trigger... To return Metamorph unless Worm Coil dies anyways. So let's just play another Worm Coil engine. Uh, I'm not going to... Maybe I'm supposed to trade off the board. I, I don't really feel like I am in need of attacking. Maybe I'm wrong. They're one mana away from activating a Ballista. This is just going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven, or this might be another Worm Coil engine. No, it's a big Ballista. Okay. All right, well, Revoker gets to name Ballista before anything happens, so this should just be game, I think. I only have two Revokers in my deck, but I sure as hell have been drawing them. It, uh, to use the bot, you just need to put in exclamation mark card chat. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. All right, these walking Ballistas are turned off. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to play a Scrap Trawler. 
And now if I attack with this worm coil engine and they block, then I get back my metamorph. Yeah, that's fine with me. All right, cool. I'll get two things and return a metamorph to my hand. I'm down. Sorry, friend. I am the superior workshop deck. <laughs> just keep just keep the ravager shops coming oh yeah yeah just oh man just just uh, just keep the ravager shops coming all night long please i mean we have been very lucky in drawing our two phyrexian revokers but Oh, uh, I mean, we still would have won that game without a, re a revoker, probably. Just having multiple worm coil engines is probably good enough. So, all right, well, I guess we're <laughs> gonna watch some more magic, seeing as these matches have not been uh have not been long. They have been quite short. Opponent was probably super happy too. They were like, "We got turn one worm coil engine. This is our way. This is our this is our path to victory." Uh, and then I was like, "I too have worm coil engines." All right, so should we watch that death?